Hi, today we will create a view mode, edit mode, uh, access form, a form we can use to search in a data, but we cannot edit or add or modify the data. Then we will add a, a console to login within the form. Once we uh, log in successfully, we can start edit uh, the form content. We will use this data as a data source. I'm going to open access and create a blank access database. I will import uh, the data using Excel file. Now I have a table with about 741 staff member information. Uh, just to make it a little bit nice, I'm going to add a photo as an attachment. Uh, I will create a form using this information so form wizard I will rearrange the photo to be separate from the other field I add some picture to uh, the users okay so the first four users now uh, contains picture okay uh, I will add a search here using a combo box so from design view I will drop a combo box and I choose this combo box to find the record based on the ID so now I have list of ID I can use to find uh, in a staff member Okay, I'll make the form as a pop-up form. I will uh, hide the navigation pane. I will hide the record selector. So all this we can do from the property sheet for the form. So record selector, no. Navigation buttons, no. And the form is a pop-up form. So the first step I will uh, disable so no one can edit uh, the content uh, of any record. So again from the design view, all my four objects from data are uh, logged. So he can still search but he cannot edit okay now I need to add a console uh, login here so uh, the user can log in so if he log in he can edit uh, the content he can add he can remove he can um, edit the content of any uh, user record so from the design view I will create you can do it with uh, username and password or even with a password only I'm going to drop a text box and a button so this button will enable uh, the edit mode I'll make a square okay Okay, we have many ways to uh, enable the edit mode using this slogan. Uh, we can have a table with username and password, and from this table we can check if the username and password are correct, but we will make it a little bit easier. We will make the username and password directly in the code. But in this case, if you need to edit the username and password, you have to edit them from the code because you, you, they are not in the table. So this button, I, I have to know what's the name of this object. So this text box is text25. I'm going to name it as username. And this one is text27. I will name it as a password. This frame is frame31. And this button, I'm going to add the code. So event 
on click good builder uh, so simply if me dot username uh, equal admin so the username is uh, admin and me dot password equal let's say admin also so both of them are admin then now if the name is admin and the password is admin i'm going to create another sub the sub will unlock all of them so this sub will take each field in my form so employee name dot logged equal false i have to repeat this with each field so I have to repeat it with the buildings, the departments, the ID, the phone, the status, and so on. So, if the username is, is admin and the password is admin, I am going to unlock all. So, just the name here. Else, uh, let's have a message box. Wrong information. And let's end up. So if the username is admin, password is admin, we have to end up, sorry, in this case I can start edit uh, my information. So now I can edit, but I need also to add a new record or delete a current record. So in the form design I will drop two button, one of them will be a record operation to add and another one will be a record operation to delete both of them both of the two button will be visible no so this button name is 33 and this one is 34 I'm going to rename so this one to add, this one to delete. Then I can go to the same function and make add visible and make also delete visible. So this form uh, by default, you can only view the data. If you need to edit, you have to type the username and password. So you can edit or even you can add a new staff member. Of course, if you open it again, the two field is blank. This one is supposed to be a password. Uh, I think you know how to do this one. So this one from the data, it will have um, input mask to be a password so I have to check password so now you can see the username is admin but you, you cannot see the password and if they are correct you'll get a message if they are wrong we'll get a message wrong information if the username and password is correct you can start edit uh, your form uh, that's it